If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clash is now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TG World. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be looking at my Limitless Q3 deck, which is, which was rather Dragapult VMAX, you know, Max Phantom on 35 damage counters to the bench. The most hyped deck, of course, from the new set, along with four crushing hammers to crush our opponent's dreams, and two Team Yell Grunts in order to continue with the energy denial theme. Now, the idea behind this was to slow down the mirror, slow down the ADPs, which I expect to be the two most popular decks, and beat them that way, and then through for Marnie for research, just handle everything else through consistency, healing, your high HP and um, intelligent damage outputs. Uh, Two Shrine was pretty good against Pigarum overall, along with the energy denial. In the end, it wasn't enough. In the game I lost, in my win and in that I lost, I flipped three heads on Crushing Hammer against Pigrom, and I still managed to somehow lose. So that was not great. Um, but yeah, this is the list I will be playing so far. Um, Mean Keen TCG, thanks so much for the follow. A lot of techie cards to use with Scoop Up Knight, we have Jirachis, we have Six Seconds, we have Orangru, we have Mewtwo, and we have Fion, along with our Jetene for support. We have 10 energy and the one spinner, so that we can still wish for an energy possibly. Um, I believe the third place list yeah, had this, which I also really like, that's probably better. But I'll just play the list as it was for the um, tournament. And yeah, looking pretty good. Yeah, Let's jump into the ladder. I didn't make any changes really. And see if we can do well with this Limitless Q3 deck. Yeah, I will be trying out um, Power Plant or Shrine. Power Plant should also be very good against um, against baby plants, right? Like in Marnie, Power Plant, and then their Oricorio is no longer useful. Um, okay, Sombrina, I can play the, the... I have been playing the Limitless tournaments with this demo account. My intention is to not do that in the future, right? Because I'm working on updating my account. I wanted to do that um, since the very first one. I just haven't um, been able to because I'm literally... It's like I'm starting from scratch. I haven't played with my regular account. In four years, I haven't been. I've been giving away codes rather than using them myself, so I I don't have everything to build the decks that I need to. But with the official tournaments, like I hope I'll be ready by June. Yeah, I hope I'll be ready by June. I will not be able to use that account for that tournament for sure. All right, I don't know what I'm up against. My Detene is in prize, so that's good news. I feel like. I don't know what I'm up against. I'm gonna, this is kind of risky, but I don't want to lose this guy. Yeah. But yeah, I will be using my regular table and account for the player scope. Don't worry about that. And yeah, I like even if I wanted to, I can't play. The demo account is not linked to my player's accounts. Oh, Sleepy Dreepy, that was you, there you go. <laughs> it was good indeed, it was a good game. I I played a shrine towards the end where I, where I let you kill that the Dene, that was very silly of me. Um, but yeah, after I flipped three heads and I still lost, I was like, wow, <laughs> Pikaram is really something. Okay, is this a Rayquaza deck? Based on the deck box and the coin. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon and reel them and put them into your hand. This has just 20 damage for each of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, this is probably not a good card to have in this. Maybe. Maybe it's a grass type tech attacker. What's weak to grass? Nothing. <laughs> Save life. 
So yeah, a lot of people have already started to ask and complain about demo accounts, playing the online tournaments and blah, blah. I knew this would happen when they announced the online tournament. They would say, oh, but they have an offer advantage, blah, blah, as if having demo account somehow gave me special abilities to be a good player. But that will be changing in the near future. Yeah, and I will probably limit the use of the uh, demo account to, um, I will, I will limit the use of the demo account only for when sets come out and then I'll work on having my updated account all the time, right? I think that makes sense. Okay, I really like this. This is just gonna be a really big deal. You can see how energy denial is so, so important in today's metagame. Um, okay, so do I expect the Shrine to stick for a few turns? Maybe? I do have two of these, so when he attacks me, he takes 40. And then Shrine, that's 50. So I don't need to put any damage on the Leaf Buff. I don't need to worry about that. I'll just target the Bees, which are not passively damaged by the Shrine. Stonejourner VMAX. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Goons and Sableye. Yeah, but Goons, once it attacks, the Celebi B doesn't really help, right? You had Boss in hand, and that was the game plan at the end. That's what you were doing for the last energy. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, five months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hyrusurk. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so the stadium did only stick for one turn, as I correctly predicted. Um, yeah, Keisha, I, mean, I know, I know. Like, I know you're asking out of curiosity. I've had it asked a lot about a lot lately, and I'm just answering. Yeah, so no, I didn't take it as as anything else. Don't worry. Uh, what? You can't. Attack me though. What? For one of their grass pokemons. You can't even heal this guy. And you just search for the energy, which means I'm gonna go ahead and mark you. Alright, so slow and steady wins the race here, I guess. Uh, Max Phantom. I don't really care about that guy. I'll put. Two and one, two and three. Yeah, that's fine. He'll heal one of them, it's okay. This is the deck that I use for Q3, yes. This is the deck that I use for the Q3 qualifier. Yeah, the exact lists. I lost my one and engines. So I lost my one and in, so I ended up eight and five. And there we go. Easy PD Rayquaza is not a good deck. That's the song. <laughs> All right, on to the next match. On to the next match. Did I see the new Dark Type Pokemon that will come out in August? Yes, I did, Tevi. They they look pretty pretty cool. Yeah, it might make Phalanx not suck. <laughs> it might actually make Phalanx not suck anymore because that full bench Vitality Bandit Phalanx takes a one KO, right? On the VMAX, it does 160 times 2, 320. So it might make Phalanx not suck. That will be the title of my video of Phalanx when the time comes in August. Phalanx doesn't suck anymore. What a surprise. Uh, what is this? Okay, is this item lock? This is item lock, right? Has to be. This is item log, so I'm not gonna bother dealing with retreats. How about it, man? How about it? Evolve, lock me, and then I'll evolve, attach, and just wreck you. So many dark Pokemon, indeed. Yeah. But that's cool, right? I mean, that happens every set, I feel like. Since since the tag teams, like, tag teams came out, Pikachu became a thing. Lightning. And then, Unbroken Bonds, Fire. And Midnight Gaming, thanks so much for the follow. And then Unified Minds, Psychic with Mew 3, or like mixed. And then. <laughs> uh, Cosmic Eclipse, and then ADP Water ish. And then Sword and Shield, Metal. And then Rebel Clash, Psychic. And now. Um, whatever the name is, Dark. And then afterwards, what are we missing? Fighting. And the next set will coincide with the downloadable content that they're releasing. 
and we have this cool new fighting type legendary so probably in the november set fighting will be the next big thing and they go through these cycles they go through these cycles all the time no eternatus v is not weak to grass it's weak to fighting okay this is the sort of hand that i had at the qualifier where I got dunked, except I didn't have these three cards, or these four cards. I would have just extra copies of Scoop Up Nets. Uh, I don't know what I'm up against. Uh, my hand is still just attached past though. Let's see what happens. Sir so Pandage. Uh, they mentioned streaming the player's cup. Yeah, maybe spectator mode confirmed, maybe. We don't know, right? I guess we'll have to wait for more details. Is there a new fighting legendary? Yes, Hyperserk. In the video game, there will be a new fighting legendary Pokemon. Dark and water, and yeah, and like... Yeah, you can only bench dark Pokemon, but we get the dark type Shaman, so... Or dark type Crobat V with Shaman EX's ability, so... That's pretty good. Um... So you lose the ability of the Dene, but you get to use Crobat, and all the other decks also get Crobat. Spectator mode maybe confirmed, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I want to take it with a grain of salt, yeah? I feel like... I doubt they've been planning a spectator mode in the last few months, and I really doubt that two months is enough for them to adapt their software to have a spectator mode. I hope so, but I'm not happy, like I'm not sure. I didn't watch the tougher match, James. What happened? What happened in that tougher match that you mentioned? Okay. So goodbye energy. I'm gonna put back the welder. Well, I'm gonna put back the Marty. After I shuffle my deck with this. Okay, the dream would be... This is risky because I might just not get an energy. Exhibit A. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Okay, so we're gonna detonate. It's not the biggest of deals. Well, it is because of Cramorant. I'm still gonna put the Barney at the top. I really feel like having Marty is important there. Having that guy bench is also pretty good. And there's our beautiful energy right there. So let's go Max Phantom. And... This is weird. I'll put... So, do I expect to be knocked out? If I do... I'll just do this. On, but like, if if I get knocked out, then the two damage here might matter. If this is active, then hopefully I can find Fion. I don't know. As long as I don't get knocked out this turn, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. Oh, you know what? Maybe going after this guy was better. Maybe. We'll see. Because of the two horrors. We'll see. Yeah, Mr. Mime is active both games without any draw support. Oh, wow, really, James? That sucks. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that happened to me too, yeah? Except with Mewtwo instead of Mr. Mime. <laughs> Classic PCGO hands. Okay, there's the Oricorio. Goodbye, Victini. Got a Mulligan draw game two, and a change to Marnie in game one. Oh, jeez. I'm really sorry, James. I know that really sucks. I think you put on Blount so Baby Pulse can care with Bite. Uh, yeah, that's true. Maybe that was better. I like having this option though, because putting like putting all five on the Blounts is playing very like... I don't know. Oh jeez. He played that so fast. Does that mean we're dead? Are we dead? Please don't be dead. Yeah, maybe putting all five on Blounts was better. That way I could kill with Bites. But I mean, if that happens, am I really winning the game if my play, if my attack next turn is Bite? <laughs> what? What the heck is happening? 
What the heck is happening? I do not have Sparrow and Sancho Duke. I am sorry. Hope you find them. Hello, Outcast. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out. For the good luck. You're laughing? I, def I definitely can't laugh when that happens to me. I get very, very annoyed. Barbaric Yop, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. All right. I guess we're attached passing. <laughs> I guess we are attached passing against baby blounds. That's never a good thing. So maybe I won't attach to the active. Uh, this is not good against baby blounds, so I'll just discard that. I don't know why I was thinking that so much. I mean, attaching to the bench means I need an extra card to attack, to get a KO with... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like attaching to a bench is playing too... too scared of my opponents. Like, what a chance that he finds Welder 3 energies into 5 energies. I feel like they're low enough to the point where attaching to the bench is... Like, him having that is less of a chance. Or is high? No, it's. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I would. Yeah, attaching bench. Uh, bye, Sebi. Thanks so much for hanging out. I can't wait to go back to going to regionals. I agree. Okay, so I'm not super happy that I have to Barney, <laughs> but on having three, right? All right. This is this is pretty sweet, actually. This is pretty sweet. Um. Don't care about that, don't care about anything here really. Just care about getting the VMAX and potentially winning this turn. I'll play this just in case my opponent finds a Ricorio or benches the Dene or something. I don't think the damage on my Dene will ever matter. I'll get Soul Evolve because why not? Alright. Yeah, if I attached to the bench, I would not have gotten the attack up here. It's like Yes, I could get KO'd, but what are the chances of that? And do I even win if I get KO'd immediately? So, attaching to the active felt a little, a little better. It feels like more of a, I'm here to win play, rather than I'm scared of you and I don't want to lose, which is different, right? If you don't lose, that means you won, but playing to win is different than playing to not lose. I don't know. Hola Charizard, muchas gracias. <laughs> Have I won the last four games after turn one concessions like that? Or turn two, I think. This is really odd. This is really, really odd. Ooh, gold, useless, chest. Six hours left to grind all of this. Obviously that's not happening. And James, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Obstagoon is a ladder climber. Yeah, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. I was thinking of using Obstagoon to, to try and grind with my regular account. To try and get those 12 wins every day. But I don't have enough cards to build it. If anyone has spare roses they can trade me, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I really need to get update to get to updating that account. Okay, so we're up against the mirror match. Right? We're up against the mirror match, we get two mulligans, that's really nice. We even find that, which is also pretty cool. Okay, so we're up against the mirror match. I have energy denial. I don't know if my opponent has energy denial or not. <laughs> Sir Panage, yeah, there you go. I mean. See, you did that once though. If you did it 50 times and it happens once, then it's okay to do it, right? So, uh, yes, I am definitely very happy about it, Fiend Manko. I am definitely very happy about it. I am looking, I'm, I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy that they're doing something official, right? That's the first step, you know? 
because I was worried that I would have to become Battle Tower. Thanks so much for follow. I was worried that I, that, 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 that I would transition into being a full-time Mario Maker content creator. <laughs> but, but, um, so yeah, that's step number one. I'm very happy that you're doing it. And I'm so happy that I'm gonna try and qualify for both VGC and TCG. Yeah, I'll, I, next weekend I'll be playing the VGC thing. And then the we and then I'll all of June I'll be playing the TCG thing and I hope to qualify to the I mean at least to the first phase right I probably won't make it out of the second phase for VGC but I really hope I get to qualify to both. Yeah, thank you, Sir Bandage. Thank you. We found the perfect partner in crime for Obstagon and that is Spirit Tomb. Okay, Obstagon and Spirit Tomb is amazing. Like Spirit Tomb in Obstagon, you mean? Okay, imagine if I hit Flurry Grunt, I mean Yell Grunt off of the Stella Wish, that would be so good. Or I flip heads on the hammer, that would also be really good. Like, we're well, going crazy on this turn one. Discarding energy, so that's really good, right? This is the advantage of playing blind. I feel like if my opponent was looking at my list in the Limitless Tournament and he saw four hammers and Yell Grunt, he wouldn't be doing that. Oh, but he has Inke, okay. He has Malamar. Alright. And I priced two psychics. That's okay. So what do I discard? You have a good deck, friend. Okay, I'm gonna discard energy because I have access to infinite energy. Mateo, thank you so much for the follow. Mateo Savi. Okay, now do I use this? No. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Yell Grunt! Goodbye energy! It's less impactful because my opponent does have Malamar. I'll play this for... Um, for, for, for... Fion protection purposes. And... Okay, next turn, if, I fl if my opponent gets Malamar and whatever, I could end up still removing both energies from the active. That would be fantastic. If I flip hands, right? If I flip hands. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. So there's a VMAX. Does he just have Malamar switch in hand already? Uh, uh, um, you're drinking the most broken glass of chocolate milk. There's even some ice cream in it. Nice. <laughs> There's a whole lot of protein. Did you add protein to it? Because chocolate milk and ice cream alone don't have that much. <laughs> no, my broken combo, my energy, my VMAX. All right, not the end of the world. I have energy, I have research, I have other dragon pulls and the VMAX, so. It's still looking okay. I just really wanted to remove the energy though. Ooh, there's a Malamar. So I'm definitely attacking this and killing it. I'm putting the five on the Malamar. Maybe not five, but definitely four. Yeah, I've played Sword and Shield in forever. I'll get back into it next weekend. Next weekend will be VGC. Next weekend my Switch will get a lot of use. <laughs> uh, once you set up Obstagon, Spiritum can yeet itself if needed. True, true. Um, that's exactly why Limitless Format takes a huge amount of skill away from the game in your opinion. Optimal lines of play being influenced by directly... Uh, well, I mean, it goes both ways though. You can make optimal lines of play by having full information, right? You don't have to guess. You don't, like, if you play around something that you don't have or you play or you don't play around something that they do have, it takes away surprises, and I feel like that's more skill intensive than just surprising someone. Yeah, so I actually I actually prefer open open list tournaments. Um it's funny how the start Pokemon from the series Toxtricity and Dragon Pulse stole the attention. Is it though? Is it Toxtricity? I feel like it was both though. Maybe Toxtricity because of the VMAX form, right? Maybe. Have I played Super Smash Bros? I have played Super Smash Bros, I love it, but I haven't played it in a while. Last time I played I got wrecked by Alex, and before that I hadn't played in like 6 months. I just, I, I prefer Mario Maker. Okay, 
So my opponent does manage to power himself up. I could save their research from getting discarded. I'll probably end up doing that. No horror energies for me. Fire and Primate Wisdom, the research for treasure. That's okay. And I do find a switch. I do find a crushing hammer, but now it's not impactful at all. Right? Unless I flip two hands. And it's still not impactful. I don't think. I can't kill the Jirachi though. Is that good? Or do I just focus on the Malamar? My opponent has two cards in hand. I feel like there is merit to going after the Jirachi right here. I really do think so. Especially, like if I flip double hands, he's in trouble because then he doesn't have a free retreater or a retreater at all. Thanks so much. Uh, nothing happened, never mind. <laughs> I thought I heard a notification. Just save them, KO Mali. I can't KO Mali. Okay, so there's a victory. I guess my opponent just has, his hand must have been dead, right? His hand must have been dead. Open list, take away the surprise of intelligent techs. What would you define as an intelligent tech though? Like what tech relies on what kind of tech do you play that will only work if they don't know about it? And therefore, in best of three, it will only work once, right? So, I don't think that's a good argument. What is an? What would you define as a, as an intelligent tech? A surprise horror house. Fair. That's a that's an intelligent tech in Dragapult, right? You pull it off once in a best of three in game one, and then they'll always be ready for it, right? Fair. Gengar Mimikyu's GX, like at a horror house out of nowhere into Poltergeist could be game changing. True. MVC Hawks, thanks so much for follow. What else? Name five and I'll be convinced. Not having to play around Belelba is great. I don't know. Yeah, that's true, Sebi. I mean, that was true for all the qualifiers, right? Cramorant for the Dene. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, another mirror match. Woody Wood Boys, thanks so much for the follow. What deck won't you 3 P Grom on I Berserk? If Alice plays Mew, then you don't supercharge Pika. I mean, do you, like, would you ever risk it that much? There are situations, I guess, but. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, open list, best of one, or closed list, best of three. But open list, I don't know. Closed list, best of one, that's way too random. Okay, so we top deck that. That's really cute. Do I even need to play anything else? I'm gonna establish. No, I'm not even gonna grab that because it's not useful to my current hand. And there we go. We just got back the advantage that we didn't have because we went second. Muscle Band TCG, thanks so much for the follow. As an unnecessary cheese play, the Horror House GX, right? The Cramorant. Mew is not necessarily a cheese play. Oh my god! <laughs> we just got Team Yell granted back. <laughs> Very nice opponent, very nice. Your opponent knew you were you only played three switch on several to stall your Dennis or something to it. Yell Grant is a surprise tag. But see, I went into the tournament knowing my opponents would know about my energy denial. Right? I still thought this the I still think. Yeah, I'm not gonna speak in past tense, I still think. 
<clears throat> the strategy was good enough to the point where it was justified to to play the cards because they're so powerful that even if my opponent knows they are there, she'll still um, be punished for by them, right? Not for them, but by them. All right, I definitely don't want to Marnie. Is that an excuse? Fair. I mean, I agree. There's in the end, there's arguments to both, right? I guess we can, we can, all of us can, um, can accept that. There are arguments for both sides. <sighs> okay, there's no way for me to guarantee the energy to now. Oh well. But there we go. <laughs> Uh, Stellarish, don't bother me. No. Okay, well, this gets me to Demi, I guess. Or Mewtwo. Okay, please. No. I'm gonna grab Mewtwo. I just put the Barney at the top. Yeah. All right. Weird game for sure. Weird game for sure. Back to back yell grunts by both. <laughs> Going first in the mirror match and playing up a level against your opponent, that's just brutal. Do you think starting is crucial for every every time with Dragapult you need to start? You need to go first because you need that turn one attachment. That's the whole reason the deck is good. If you don't get that turn one attachment, then you're in trouble. Secret Word Crushing Hammer showed up in price? Nice. Oh, the little band Baby Blounds is a cheese play. Yes, that is true. And, and Benson, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you watching the Mario Maker bits. I'm working on one. No. I am working on one that. Um, I am working on one where it took me two hours to beat the level. I'm trying to make it like into a 20 minute video, but it's it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Okay, you can have my mute too, it's fine. I hope he goes for a double knockout rather than putting the damage on my on my friend's Dragapult. You know that in the Pigaro Mirror, you have to go second? Okay. Speaking of secret rare expensive crushing hammers... No! <laughs> That's three tails. Ugh. Three tails, come on. Come on, my friend. That was not very nice. I am super dead now. Oh. Two hours into 20 minutes. No, 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 I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm gonna cut out parts that are very repetitive, right? Like, you don't need to see me die to the same mold five times in a row. Right? <laughs> I'm trying to keep it like highlight related rather than speeding it up. That would that wouldn't look good, I don't think. You would miss all my oh oh no, I'm so dumb, etc. <laughs> I really I love Mario Maker. Like Mario Maker is is good for my heart. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, how did I flip triple tails though? How did I flip triple tails? Even one might have made a big difference. Okay, I really need a Dragon Bolt. And having 60 damage also on me is really bad. Well, I guess it actually doesn't matter. Well, there's that. I don't know, like there's arguments for having open lists, having closed lists, best of one, best of three. Okay, can I flip one heads? 
Yay! I've lived one hand. Yay! Um, I can't bench the Dene anyways. So why not play that and punish him for playing at the Dene, maybe? Uh. <laughs> Uh, what are these hands? Okay, that's gonna be it for Limitless. Q3 deck, yeah, it's pretty good. Dragapult on its own has its own issues. Gonna move on to Dragapult now. I mean, not Dragapult, sorry. Obstagon, played by Grant Manley and Trader Chip. Let's see if we can get some free wins from the ladder. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back in just a second. <laughs> 